And there are lots of neat logos, images, and phrases that catch our eye when we're looking at clothing and shoes every day. But for today's On Our Mind, we're going to be asking, what is the most clever clothing brand product design? No, you know, there's a lot of good ones out there, too. We were talking about this in a break, too. I actually mm -hmm. left my mug, actually, in the Weather Center, because this wouldn't be actually perfect for that. Mm -hmm. and, or if you want to bear with me, Michael, as I talk, I can actually go get it, because it's actually a good yeah. one, because my cousin gave me this <laughs> mug, actually. It actually says, trust me, I'm mm -hmm. a meteorologist. And yeah, no, Devin, I, be I believe that's a good mug. You know, it's certainly, there's a lot of fun catchphrases out there and about that are uh, you know, good plan words like this, Devin. Yeah, Read this, it on air This is here. that mug right here, too. If one of our directors wants to zoom into the mugs to see it so people can see it, so that, that would be beneficial for the viewers. But, you know, there's some other fun things as well. Uh, when I was in junior high, mm. we had a sweatshirt. One of my science teachers actually did not like, like it because it said, your lips are moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. But, you know, sometimes that's kind of the case for junior high kids, right? But then it was also another funny mm -hmm. shirt from high school, and I think I wore it for a brief bit in college too that said my band director deserves me i was in i was in band too so, so. devin's a big fan of the funny phrases i'm gathering well, of here. course right and of course my cousin picked up on this too with this mug here so you of course mm -hmm. i mean can't go wrong branding no so. I, I i like a very simple logo you know very classic colors like this mug you know very nice but the ones that i do really like is when i travel places i like to get coffee mugs but i like it when they when they put the the image the, the image of the uh, the city or a, a, a thing on it. Like I've got several German ones with like cathedrals and stuff on it or the, the city center. So those are like my favorite. So yeah. I, I, pre I preferably will buy it pretty much anything with that on it. I also have tote bags like that as well. So I go for more of the uh, the city aspect, but uh, I can understand the humor of a good old coffee. There bar. we go, right there. There it is. There it is. There it is. Thank you guys for zooming <laughs> in on that. So yeah, but shout out to my cousin. I'll I'll, I'll mention her by name, Lauren. Lauren, actually now Lauren Dejournet. She got married a couple of years oh. ago. Um, and uh, and yeah, so I mean it's a nice mug. I'm glad to be able to use it on the air. It's great for coffee and of course hot chocolate too. We're almost to that season or yeah. apple cider or. We've yeah. had those discussions, too. Yeah, okay, you can have that any time of year, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> but we got a lot more coming up this morning because we're going to be talking about an upcoming fall festival ready to ring in the season. Maybe you'll even find some apple cider there. Yeah, exactly, right? And trust in your local meteorologist. But first, Howard is in Washington, D.C. still with a recipe for Ben's Chicken.